Okay, now moving from, oh, I, I'm pushing the wrong buttons, uh, uh, duh. <laughs> um, let's look at, at local search. Um, for many businesses, as I said, local search is, is be, beginning to actually take over from universal search because the, the, um, basically any time you query something or question something in the search results, the local intent is automatically being superimposed to you. So as I said, it's really hurting some of the national results because unless you do paid search, your organic results are going to be basically local. Um, then uh, basically uh, you have both organic and paid results for local. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Okay, so if you look at Google local organic web results, okay, these are results with a geographic modifier. So when we put in a search, we were looking for flower delivery Boston, okay? The first three results are sponsored, which means paid results. Somebody paid a, a bidding price. Anybody here use pay-per-click or AdWords? Okay, so you, you guys know that if you pay, you have a, a bidding price. And if somebody, there, there are two things that happen in search results, and some people don't appreciate the first thing. Just looking at this result is called an impression. Now, nobody's clicking through yet, but it's on page one, and it's an impression. So basically, if it shows up, you have an impression. And an impression is good for branding. So if you want your company to come up and people say, oh, that's, that company must be big because they're always everywhere. It's, it's basically you know, branding your company. It's like when you see that Nike symbol, oh, Nike's everywhere, Nike must have a billion dollars because they're, they're branding. That's what branding does. It puts in your mind that they're big, that they're powerful, that they're successful. And every time your results come up, you are branding your company, and that's an impression. And you're not paying for it even if you're in the sponsored listings. So you get the benefit of being on page one and, and branding your company. Now, you take the risk of somebody clicking through and actually you paying for that, for that click through. Whereas in the um, place page results, which you must be in, place pages is like that Google business directory. If you're not there, notice where you are with organic now, all the way down here. So organic results are not that great anymore if you're not in place pages. Can you explain that place pages? I've seen that, I didn't know what that meant. Yeah. I will. Uh, is, are you asking the same? No. Okay. Um, basically, it used to be Google Business Directory, okay? But now it's called Google Place Pages. So if you're in Google Business Directory, you automatically have transitioned into Google Place Pages. However, I would go in and make sure your listing is up to date. You need to have a location for Place Pages, in other words, a physical address. Our recommendation is if you don't have a physical address, take a post office box and put the physical address of the post office, the physical post office place. Because, and then Google will call you to verify that you actually are that company. So there are a couple of steps that you have to go through, but you will get that. You also will get a Google Place um, plaque with a barcode on it that identifies your location. No? No, this is all free so far, right. Now, if you, um, if on Google Places, they have a place to do those tags, those advertising tags, I believe it's $25 a month to do that, so it's pretty cheap. And I have another slide that shows you where that, that would be. So if you have an offer or a promotion or something like that, for $25 a month, it might be, a worth, might be worth you looking at that. Well, if you said New York or New York City. Yeah, well, you said New York Metro. You can answer the question, what is considered local? What, what's is it a demographic? Is there a population base? Well, there, there are two things. On my next slide, which I'm going to show you, okay, 
This is if you type it in. So if I wanted flowers in New York City, I would probably be smart enough to say New York City. I wouldn't just say New York, because unless I was looking for 1-800-Flowers, I probably wouldn't do that. Now, if I just typed in flowers, OK, so let's look at the next slide, because I think that answers your question. So this is local results without, okay, without the geographic locator. In other words, I'm just saying, um, Flower delivery, Boston. But I, but I, I, did I get to the next slide? No. Wait. I think I missed one. Wait. Oh, cool again. Yeah, this is without. Okay, so this is just flower delivery. I skipped that. Somehow I, I didn't get that slide. So here's just flower delivery. It knows where you are. That's what I was saying. So I didn't put in anything. I still got Boston results. So that's what I'm saying to you is that today, with the enhanced GPS and all the stuff that, that, that basically Google knows when you're going, because what Google says is, you're looking for flowers. You must be looking locally, because it's, you know, it's like pizza. Why would you look for a generic you know, flowers? You're probably looking for it there. So, if you're not looking locally, it makes it more difficult for a national chain, is what I'm saying. Unless what, they, what they're doing is, if, if any of you are franchising or national chains, what they do is they put local places in all these places so that you have a local intent so that they come up, even though they're 1-800-Flowers, they come up 1-800-Flowers, New York City. So I'm, I'm saying there's ways to get around this, but you have to understand how the results come in to start with. If you, know, if you don't, then you don't understand. Now notice how the organic results are there and the place results are under without the geographic. So there is a change even without that modifier. So what I'm saying is what we do is we study all of this and we understand how does that engine get fed, where, where does it come from, and how do you have to optimize it so that you maximize your chance of being here, okay? For two reasons, branding and also for the click-through so that you get that client. Because the ultimate result is I want that client on my site and I want them to be a paying customer, right? So that's kind of my end goal. Everybody's end goal pretty much is business. We want more business. Why are we doing this, right? Question? They'll probably give you Springfield results. You'll probably get results from Springfield. Exactly. Now, if you wanted, if there's like, let's say you're in um, a suburb of Springfield that you know is, maybe there's a neighborhood that's, that's identified, you'd need to put that, you'd need to type that in. And as you keep going, the, the um, uh, you know, the instant search would keep modifying it as you keep typing letters. So if you, if you really want to go for the, what we call the long tail, and I'll talk to you later, you just type the whole thing in and you'll get the very pinpointed result. But you know, it's, it's, it's trying to really see what your intent is, to, to basically second guess you, to, to figure out what does he want, <laughs> you know? And we want to give it to you before you even think of what you want. Absolutely. When I talk about the keyword section, I'll tell you about how, you know, it all starts, as you can see, with a search. And a search starts, let's go back one step further, a search starts with keywords. So basically getting the right traffic on your site is getting the right keywords that define your business. And once they get there, the way you keep them on your site is you have the right content that tells them you've got what they need. So there is, you know, that's part of the process of thinking through strategically how you use this to leverage your business. It's really, it's, it's complicated, but there is a methodology that actually works. <laughs> um, uh, how, what is the search engine looking for when it gives you that local results? It, what it's, look, it's not looking for anything. It's trying to give you the best results for your query. Uh, so if I want people, but, but. Besides the, the GPS that's on the mobile, on desktop, how does it know that I'm there? Well, 
it, it knows from your IP address. Now, if your IP address is somewhere, you know, like let's say you're Verizon and it's Pennsylvania, you might get some skewed results. But typically, it knows from your IP address where that actual physical computer is sitting. And the second question is, how wide is the 